I get asked a lot, how can we help this child who is struggling to go to school? Um, it's a great question, one I love to try and tackle with families, with schools, with all sorts of different people, but it's the wrong first question. If we've got a child who's not attending, who's finding it really hard, lots of anxiety and emotion around school, then we need not first to think about, well, how do we overcome that? We need to go back a step and try and understand the why. Why is this child finding school a struggle? What is not working for them? Is it something to do with school? Is it something to do with home? Is it something internal? Is it something external? The problem that we've got here is that emotionally based school avoidance or school anxiety or school phobia or whatever phrase we want to use and none of them feel right quite honestly, whatever we're calling it, a child who's struggling to go to school, it can look quite similar from child to child. But child A's reasons, their issues, their concerns, their worries, the things that's making it hard for them to go to school might be totally different than the concerns for child B, but it kind of looks the same. But if we treat them the same, what might work for one child might not work for the other. Child A might find school totally overwhelming. Perhaps they are on the autistic spectrum and school for them is too noisy in every sense of the word and they find it really really challenging and the whole thing sends them into a spiral of anxiety and panic and overwhelm and it's just too hard whereas maybe for child b they're really really worried about being away from home because there's challenge going on at home and they're worried that if they're not there to keep things safe to keep an eye on things to look after siblings or a parent or a carer or what have you that um, um, that's a, a concern for them. And then maybe there's child C who has got um, a mental health concern. Perhaps they've got obsessive compulsive disorder and this makes getting to and into school very, very challenging because they've got obsessions and compulsions that are driving them to do other things and taking their focus away from the school day. There's like so many different things that could be underlying this and yeah, I could probably list a hundred different reasons, so many different things. But the, the point is, if we don't know what the problem is, if we don't know what is stopping this child from making it into school, from thriving at school, from enjoying school, from being able to go there, do that in, and, and, and enjoy it and love it, if we don't know the why for them, then it's really hard for us to focus on the how to help. So first, we've got to find ways to work out the why. And, and that can be a whole nother video, a whole nother guide. If you find that helpful, do comment. If you've got ideas on that, do comment. But just my first point here, before we think about how do we help, we've got to define what are we trying to help? Why is this child finding it hard?